Good morning, Joe Walker here at Glen Echo. I'm here on the 16th fairway, and I'm out spraying uh, Bermuda today on the fairways, a little Bermuda eradication spray. This is the second spray. Sprayed the last one a month ago, and I'm going back through and spraying uh, these areas again. I probably will end up with 10 acres of spray today, and I'll have more I'm sure I'll need to do. I'm being a little bit more thorough, trying to make sure I don't miss some, some thin areas, some areas that you can't see real well, but... Um, I want to show you here, this area right here is a little reddish still. Um, the Bermuda hasn't come back in completely since um, since the last spray. And what I hope is, is this will be the knockout spray. This will knock it back and then the winter time will take care of it the rest of the way. Now of course I, I, I don't want to lose all of it, but um, some of it hasn't been hurt very much. But one of the things I wanted to show you was um, the tree line, and that's why we have so much Bermuda in this area of the fairway. We're about 100 to 150 yards from the green. We have uh, basically a fence line of, of pin oaks on the east side of the golf course, east side of the hole, and these provide, uh, as you can see, massive shade. And we're starting to get some sun up here, and that's where our best, best soil is up on this side. And of course, then when the sun comes around, um, 15 and around 16 here the T then it's blocked here by the trees on this side but we have to have those trees of course because of um, because of the dog leg in the hole and not that we don't have to have these as well um, but one of the things that would help us is if we had every other one and that's one of the things I want to show you here is we have a, a pretty solid amount of Bermuda now the hole is facing kind of the, the contour of the land does go east so east does uh, create a little bit uh, um, worse angle for the turf to grow and and for uh, a, a full sun turf like zoysia. Of course, Bermuda uh, is a full sun turf as well, likes the heat, but it can handle more shade than zoysia. So that's why you're seeing patches of Bermuda all through this area. But then as you get out closer here, I wanted to show you, you don't have quite as much Bermuda out in here because we get a little bit longer longer sunlight but then one I also want to show you out here further we got to get out here into the open and you see a little bit less patches of, of Bermuda and that's because uh, the zoysia needs a little bit more light requirement there's a little bit of Bermuda here a couple smaller patches here then there are some some patches down here as we get but there's not nearly the large patches as we had back there doesn't mean we go in and clear cut trees but that's just part of the example I can go out and spray and spray and spray but we'll continue to have an issue as long as we have um, a lack of sunlight and a limited amount of sunlight and you have two or three or four hours of sunlight instead of having six or eight hours of sunlight the Bermuda is always going to win out so but anyway, I'm trying to finish the spray out. Go have a nice afternoon with Beth out somewhere. Hope you're out on the golf course or having some fun somewhere else. Have a great day.